Digital media is quickly changing how we use and store our favorite videos. Synology created Video Station to help search, share, and watch your home videos, TV shows, and movies. In this video, we'll go over how to configure Video Station, watch videos in a web browser, and go over a few tips and tricks. First, make sure the Video Station package has been installed from the Package Center. Next, you'll want to have some videos stored on your NAS, with movies, TV shows, and home video separated into different subfolders. With the installation of Video Station, the NAS will provide a folder called Video automatically. If your media is located in another folder already, that's OK. With both these items completed, open Video Station from the main menu. The Video Station window will show a message that no videos are available. At this point, Video Station wants your input to understand what types of media are located in different folders. Click the message shown, or click the Settings button to configure the locations of your videos. The system will have you select a folder, then the type of video in that folder, and the language of the videos. Because of this, it is important to have some organization for your collection so that items appear in the correct categories and the right data about your videos is displayed in Video Station. In this case, the movies, TV shows, and home videos are in their own folders. Upon clicking OK, the system will scan the folder to index the files and search for more information about the videos that are indexed. This process may take some time. Repeat this process for the predefined categories that you have videos for. If you have other videos that you would like a separately named category for, you can make those categories with the Create button. Once the indexing process is complete, your videos will be displayed with details including posters, key cast members, a synopsis of the video, and the video's IMDb score. To get the best result, it is important to organize and accurately name your media. Include the full title of the film and preferably the release year it was produced in the file name for movies. For TV shows, include the name of the series, as well as a season and episode number. More tips on file naming can be found in the DSM Help for Video Station. However, if some of your media is incorrectly identified, correcting the error is easy. For example, I know that Master with Cracked Fingers is not part of my collection. Going to Action, View Media Info, I can see that this is in the folder for Kung Fu Hustle. To correct this, I just need to go to Action and Edit Video Info. I could manually remove and enter the information about this video using this editor. Since everything is incorrect, I will want to use the Search Internet button instead to get the correct information. The search has multiple results as more than one source for the video information is used. Applying the first result gives the correct information. However, I'm not a fan of the poster that was given automatically. I'll see if IMDb has a better one using the link provided. The one IMDb has is more to my taste. I'll get the URL of the larger version, then edit the video information in Video Station again to apply it. If you have your own image that you would like to use for the poster, you can place images in the folder with the video. Just make sure to enter the settings in Video Station, go to the Advanced tab, and configure the Video Cover Settings option. Video Station can stream to more places than just your computer's web browser, such as your DLNA, digital media player, and mobile devices, which will be covered in other videos. For now, let's go over streaming to your computer. Your web browser can only play a few video and audio formats on its own. To enhance the playback functionality of your browser, it is recommended that you install the free VLC media player from Videoland.org. During the installation of VLC, be sure Mozilla plugin and ActiveX plugin are selected as these install the web browser components of VLC. On some models of Synology NAS, you may have the option to enable hardware acceleration for video transcoding in the Advanced tab of Video Station settings. This can be useful for streaming to locations outside of your LAN, as you can compress the video stream on the fly. Now that Video Station is configured, let's take a look at some of the options during streaming. To show options for subtitles and alternate language tracks, I'll select to stream Akira. 
Once the stream begins, I can select the streaming quality and audio language from the gear icon. In this case, I can choose between Japanese and English. Clicking the button with a T allows me to choose subtitles. In this case, there are subtitles already included in the video file, but there is an option to search for subtitles as well. Going back to the main video station window, we'll go over how to share a video as a link. With Quick Connect configured, select your video, then go to the Action menu and select Share with the Public. This will give you a link that you can send to friends, family, or colleagues. Video Station is a powerful tool when files are well named and organized, allowing you to search by genres, actors, directors, and so much more. For more details on streaming to your mobile devices with DS Video and digital media players, be sure to check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.